Okay guys, today we'll be solving some simultaneous equations. Uh, the first one, let's say A, we have X plus 2Y equal to 8 and uh, 2X plus Y equal to 10. So let's take this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now uh, we can then try to eliminate y by taking the coefficient of 1 and multiplying throughout the term, multiplying all the terms on equation 1 and taking uh, the coefficient of equation 2 and multiplying all the terms on equation 2. So we can then say 1 times equation 1 minus 2 times equation 2 so from there we have x plus 2y equal to 8 minus 2 times 2x which we have 4x plus 2y equal to 2 times 10 which we have 20 so from here you have x minus 4 oh sorry here should be 4x x minus 4x minus 3x 2y minus 2y it comes out equal to 8 minus 20 we should have minus 12 divide this by minus 3 divide this by minus 3 so x will be equal to minus 12 divided by minus 3 will be 4 so the value of x there is equal to 4 if we can substitute x equal to 4 in equation 1 or in equation 2 can find the value of y so substituting x equal to 4 in 1 you have 4 plus 2y equal to 8 So from here implies 2y will equal to 8 minus 4. It should give you 4. Divide both sides by 2, divide by 2. Y will be equal to 2. So the value of x there is 4 and the value of y there is 2. For us to verify if we have solved that correctly, we can then go, let's take equation 1. In equation 1, what's the value of x? First of all, equation 1 is given by x plus 2y equal to 8. Now, what's the value of x? The value of x is 4 plus 2 times y was the value of y the value of y is 2 equal to 8 here we have 4 plus 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 plus 4 will give you 8 so the value of 8 is equal to 8 the left hand side is equal to the right hand side that tells us that the fact the occurred x equal to 4 and y equal to 2 satisfies that equation so that is correct now we can take the second exercise <coughs> let's say b we have 3x plus 2y equal to 14 
on x plus 4y equal to 12. Now from this, what we do is, this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So if we take 1 and multiply, no, yeah, want to eliminate x. So if we take 1 and multiply equation 1 minus 3 and multiply equation 2. So from there you have 3x plus 2y equal to 14 minus 3 times equation 2 3x plus 3 times 4y you have 12y equal to 3 times 12 you have 36 3x minus 3x that will cancel out we'll be left with 2y minus 12y which is minus 10y equal to 14 minus 36 which you have minus 12 minus 22 so divide both side by minus 10 you have y equal to 11 on 5 So that's the value of y. Now substituting the value of y in equation 1, where our equation 1 here is 3x plus 2y equal to 14, 3x plus 2y equal to 14. So the value of y which we had was y equal to 11 on 5 so why would 11 on 5 in equation 2 in equation 1 where this is equation 1 we are going then to have 3x plus 2 times y y is 11 on 5 equal to 14 from here you have 3x plus 22 on 5 equal to 14 so from there you have 3x equal to 14 minus 22 on on 5 so from here you have uh, 5 times 14 you have 70 minus 22 on 5 70 minus 22 plus 7 minus 6 then minus 2 you have 8 6 minus 2 you have 4 so from here 3x is equal to 48 on 5 divide it by 3 divide this side to by 3 3 here cancel 3 here you have x equal to 48 on 5 divided by 3 from here you have 48 
on 5 times 1 over 3 which will equal to 48 on 15 so x shall equal to 48 on 15 so for this equation 3x plus 2y equal to 14 and x plus 4y equal to 12 you have x equal to 48 on 15 and y equal to 11 on 5